Hi, I'm Lou. Welcome to my YouTube. I'm in Richmond and I'm just about to go into bicycle to pick up a bike that has been in for service. Now it's my turbo bike, so it doesn't get much outside use. It used to be the one that I traveled with before I got my new integrated STEM travel box, but um, it sees quite a lot of action on Zwift. I also haven't had the back wheel for absolutely ages because the last time I flew with the bike, uh, TSA did, I don't know what to it, but one of the spokes was broken on the back wheel. Now when the bike's on turbo, it doesn't matter because the back wheel doesn't even feature, but I wanted to get it fixed. So I'm gonna go and pick up the bike, see all the things they've done to it, and then take it up for a spin in Richmond Park, which is just up the road. So I will catch you in a minute bike on board and I'm now up in Richmond Park. I'm going to go and do a few laps. It is half past two and the park is closing at half past four. So um, I was only going to do an hour or so anyway, that suits me fine. The um, park is even closed to pedestrians at night at the moment because the deer cull is on, which happens I think either once or twice a year. Oh, there's a green parrot. <laughs> I love this place, so I'll get some videos I go around so I can show you. And while I'm riding, I'll talk to you about the importance of servicing your bike. I needed new chain, which I knew, new bottom bracket, which I also thought from the noise it was making the other day. Um, also needed new chain rings. The brake cable had sheared off a bit too, which is not from on Zwift because I don't use the brakes on Zwift. So that's just from wear and tear over the years. I've cycled thousands and thousands of miles on it and um, so some war wounds and some wear and tear is going to be expected but i want to keep maintaining it because i want to keep riding it it's not just a turbo bike um i want to be able to ride it out and about every now and again and also it's massively sentimental to me so i'm going to keep looking after it anyway i'm going to put my helmet and shoes on and get outside i'll talk to you in a minute it is beautiful but it is not boiling oh my i'm cold i need to cycle harder to warm up okay warming up now a couple of hills have sorted me out <laughs> it's looking so autumnal beautiful colors on the trees lots of leaves falling hill thank you bike feels great very very smooth with the new chain and chain rings the uh, rim brakes <laughs> are often interesting after you've got used to having disc brakes which my other bikes have just need to remember to start braking plenty in advance of junctions, roundabouts and stuff, because it takes a while to stop. The other difference between this bike and my other ones is this one is not tubeless. So I'm hoping for no punctures because I don't have any tubes with me. I don't even know where tubes are anymore. Yikes. Not particularly ideal at a time of year when the conkers are falling off the trees. And if you don't know what a conker is, they're very spiky. So fingers crossed for no punctures. I love this place. There's barely any cars. There's a speed limit of 20 mile an hour. So it is interesting when you're doing that and cars burning past you, but it doesn't happen too much because it is quiet. Thank goodness. Weekends, very different story. Very, very busy in here. But during the week, if you can escape during the day for a ride in Richmond Park, it's worth it. It's about seven miles lap all the way around the outside and the fastest I've ever done it is 20 minutes. I was trying to get under 20 minutes but I don't know if I'll ever do that because I'm older and less fit than I have been and also there's a few road safety measures now which I think slow you down so it's not necessarily a bad thing. I used to live just up the road in a kind of villagey part of London called Kew and that's why if you follow me on Instagram, my username is Lou Q, because that's where I lived when I started going on Instagram. But I didn't ride my bike when I lived just a mile away from here. So that was a complete waste of having this on my doorstep and never using it. But whenever I'm in the area now, I love to come and do a couple of laps. I quite often bump into people I know as well. It's a bit of a hub for cyclists. There's free parking. There's a few cafes and toilets. So yes, highly recommended. If you haven't been to Richmond Park, bring your bike and come and ride here. It's great. You can do loops of the outer perimeter, both clockwise, anti-clockwise, or half laps, which is called a ballet loop because it goes past the ballet school in the middle of the park. You often have to slow down when cars and people are gathering to take photos of the deer as well. So you can't race around here like a maniac. 
or it would be bad. I don't know if you saw the video a few years ago of the nutcase that lost control of his dog Fenton in Richmond Park. It's a bit of a classic. So what I really wanted to talk to you about was the importance of servicing your bike. Now, I think there's three top things about keeping on top of servicing your bike. The first one being safety. If your bike's not working how it should, that's not good news for you being out and about. Like the brakes, gears, all that stuff, they should be working. I found out today that my front brake was sheared off. That's not ideal if I was planning on riding it. I've got rim brakes on this one, as I said, so they're a bit crap at the best of times. I certainly don't need them to not work at all. And feeling safer on your bike should also help your enjoyment on the bike and not hearing all sorts of blinking noises and stuff, which brings on to the next reason to service your bike is so your bike works as it should. When everything's working and serviced, the bike is more efficient. There's less resistance, there's less noise, there's less of all those negative things if you keep on top of servicing your bike. And the other major perk about servicing your bike is cost, which might seem like a bit of a weird one because it does cost money to service your bike, but you can prevent bigger things from happening if you maintain the smaller things. So, for example, a new chain will put less wear onto your chain rings and the cassette. I've just had to replace the chain ring because my chain was so worn. So that's a bit of a pain. And I'm gonna make more of an effort to keep on top of how many miles I've done on the chain on Zwift and replace it sooner next time. If you're comfortable and have the expertise to service your bike yourself, super, I'm not. So I throw money at the experts. I do keep on top of maintenance stuff in between and top tips for stuff you should be doing yourself is keeping your bike clean. I'm not always the best at that, but yeah, clean and lubed. Now I've warmed up a bit. This is quite a pleasant experience. I'm enjoying being out and about, seeing all the colors, seeing all the deer. Thanks for all the comments on Cycling Weekly. Oh my gosh, if Cycling Weekly magazine doesn't have a bumper week this week, it'll be a miracle because the amount of copies that my friends and family have bought is quite a lot. Most days I'm getting a text with a picture <laughs> of the magazine in a different place and then in their basket. It's brilliant. And my dad, who's bought a few copies, various places around Wales, has told every person he's bought it from that that's his daughter. <laughs> so it's very sweet. So I've been absolutely loving that. <laughs> now it's kind of cloudy, a bit foggy, stuff like that today. So I can't show you something very cool here in Richmond Park, which is a view from the park all the way through to St Paul's Cathedral in central London. It's about 10 miles and it's a protected view. The trees are not grown over it. Buildings aren't allowed to go up in between so the view can be protected. I think it was like King Henry VIII's view or something, I can't remember, but it's up here. You can't, you can't see all the way through today. Too foggy, I'll have to bring you another time. This is where the clearance is. Through that bit there. But it just looks like fog at the end of the road. Not a beautiful cathedral. There's a telescope up on the hill. Which I'll take you to another time. So that's coming up on an hour. I'm almost done with my training for today. Very pleasant ride. Really enjoyed that. I am heading back to my car. Once I've got there, I want to show you one of the very sentimental parts of this bike. I've got a picture of my boys on it. And I'm going to show you the back wheel with the new spoke. See if you can spot it. Owen, the mechanic at Bicycle, said a blind man on a galloping horse probably wouldn't spot it so there's a challenge for you <laughs> I'll see you once I stop riding so here we go here's my boys this is quite a while ago because this one is now six foot three and a half and this one is five foot eight so I'm obviously feeding them the good stuff I'm only five three so they look uh, quite amusing next to me <laughs> and this is the wheel that one of the spokes has been replaced it's not the yellow one, that's um, a Mavic thing to have a yellow spoke, but it's one of these. They're flat spokes, so they've done quite a good job of finding a flat spoke. So yes, a blind man on a galloping horse would 
have a hard time spotting which one it is, but I don't know if you've spotted it. Is this one? It's slightly bigger than the rest, but not noticeable. So good job, Owen. Thank you. Now I'm going to hop in the car. In the car, heated seat is on. I need to change my shoes, take off my helmet and hit the road. I'm going to go via the shops to buy a Christmas sandwich. I had one last week and they are quite delicious. I do like this time of year. <laughs> even if just for the sandwiches. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been informative to you about the importance of servicing your bike. Yep, the top three reasons for doing it for me are safety, efficiency of your bike, and for cost. It's so worth it. Thank you all for your comments. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for subscribing. If you already do, if you don't, please do. It would really help. It is so hard to grow a YouTube channel. Oh my gosh. So thank you for all of you that have already subscribed. I hope you're all doing all right and I will see you again soon in a future video. Bye for now.